And I've had a lot of these. David Stodden makes his regular trip to the place where his wife and daughter were killed. He plants another sign, hoping someone will see it and bring his nearly 18 year long nightmare to an end. I still think about Mary and Susanna every couple of hours, probably. I remember when they were first killed, it was like every second. Stodden's wife of 30 years, Mary Cooper, and his 27 year old daughter Susanna were both shot in the head at close range with a small caliber handgun July 11th, 2006, while hiking Snohomish County's Pinnacle Lake Trail. Their clothing had been partially removed. Stodden believes someone tried to sexually assault them and things spiraled from there. Mary and Susanna were pretty strong people, so they probably resisted and he realized he wouldn't get away with it. And so he shot him. With the case gone cold and no suspect ever identified, Stodden believes the only way the case will be solved is through the public. I would like all the people that have contacted me over the years, especially the first few years, people that were on the trail that day, to reach out to me again now that I have time to keep track of this. I'll just say that I, yep, still think about him many, many times every day. In this tearful 2018 interview with King 5, Stodden said he believes detectives spent too much time focusing on him as a possible suspect early in the investigation. He passed the polygraph and, frustrated with the lack of progress, took out an ad in the Everett Herald calling their investigation a failure. Since the detectives have kind of told me they uh, are not really going to work on it unless somebody comes in and confess, it looks like if it's going to be solved, I'm the one that's going to have to really push for it. For now, Stodden refuses to give up hope, believing someone out there can help him solve this cruel puzzle. You know, these cases are solved. It just takes the, the right information, the right tip, uh, the right person coming forward, uh, and then we can make some progress on it. We reached out to the Snohomish County Sheriff's Office for an update on this investigation. They told us there are none. If you have any information, you're urged to give them a call. In Snohomish County, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.